prepare for rivals. So, hero wise, it looks basically the same. Both teams, roughly. Like on their spread of short swords, malls, and all the rest of it. Maybe that's a problem that sloth blockers have. They've got barely any, like, DPS hero classes. Surf Slayers have got four pikes, the dual blades, two Nodatri, and plus two malls. And sloths have just got, like, a big chunk of short swords. Um, starting off the fight as well, they've got a couple of Sons of Fenrir, they've got a couple of Berserkers, a Javelin. Interesting. So again, for Surfs against Sloth Blockers, the band's Ryan Reapers and Cataphrax. So, the Fenders got Balconetes and Flames out, it looks like. At least one set, we'll see if they've got more now. <clears throat> Although I'm not going to have much time to look at stuff because this kicks off so quick that you can't really look at stuff. But we'll, we'll, we'll try getting it done. Uh, they've done like a 50... No, it's a five, 10 on A and 5 on B. Um, so the attackers have got Falconetis. So Hedda's just changed to Falconetis. He's going to get down the A side breach because he's right underneath me. I just didn't swap. The defenders have got Flames, the Kalian, Shenju's and Falconetis. So they've basically got four specials. I know people say Shenju's a musket unit, but they're basically used for their bombs this sort of situation. Um, so they're going to have a lot of stopping power when they actually get pushed through, especially if they come in a big blob. Got a lot of heroes on the wall, but not really using it. Kaelin are just behind the wall here. Where are the Shenjis? There's Shenjis. Flames in there as well. Apologies for not looking at the map, but I want to see what's going on. It looks like the fight's going on on B-side already. Breach is down. Gate on A is about to drop down. Good little push here with the Berserkers on the B side. Surfs aren't reacting just yet to it though. Interesting that they're not really... Now they're coming. Okay, now they're coming. With multiple guys as well. Um, Bloffs are getting a decent cap off already. They're going to get hit by from Cavalry from behind though. Oof! Then Ke that Keshig charge from Jackie was... Tasty, man. Good chunk of the guys pulling back from the walls as well, so they're just sat on A. I think this, this B push was mainly a distraction. They're completely outnumbered, so they're going to slowly lose that fight over there. Rest of the guys here yeah, aren't really pushing in, though, for sloths, which is kind of weird. Another hero death sloth blockers. I think they're going to just try and disengage from this. Most of the guys from Surf. Stayed on A anyway, so I think Sloths were hoping that they'd overreact to that and push more over this side, but they just didn't. Um, specialist unit wise, Head has got his Shenju's out now. Mask Flame's still got Falconetti's, DK. They've still got basically all of their, their specialists apart from the Zikalian. Oh, there's the Falconetti's. There's the Falconetti's shooting straight down on the way. That's another decent position because it can hit all along it. It's obviously a bit more like. Uh, what's the word in? It's easier to counter being sat there. Let's say that. It's a lot shorter route for the... Ooh, then Shenji's from back there as well doing well. That is a bad treb. There's not... There's like half a unit of palace guards. Although... Port Brachio running in there now. Nothing's going on at B really. It's just shady over there being a nuisance. Uh, the soft Sifferophanoi though from Surfs are doing work. A couple of the Sloth Lockers un uh, heroes tried jumping on top of them but didn't really manage to do anything. Header just died. Didn't see it though. <laughs> I think he was one of the guys that jumped on the flames over there. Very scrappy fight so far, but Surf Slayers are definitely winning. Um, they've killed more, 100 more units. They've killed more heroes. 
Bloss need to think about pulling back and reset. And you've got Khan Berserker in the background here with his Keshig. He obviously can't go through the breach, but he can try picking off heroes and units. You've got a couple of the enemy here as well. So Derevni, Esponja, Roxor pushing out just to be pains in the ass. Khan can just get back in now and heal if he wants to, rather than sacrificing his unit. I think he's probably going to do so. If he waits too long, he's going to lose his guys for no reason. He should think about pulling back out. These four are Brachio as well. They're going to be too slow to actually pull away though. So he's probably not going to be able to get them out. Wing of the Sars pushing through. Falconet is doing work as well. I think they're going to be happy with that trade though. They're still roughly 100 units ahead. We'll check the hero disparity. There's only four minutes left of the game. So 19 to 7. So over double. Surf Slayers so far. Interesting. So specialists for the attackers. They've got one set of Shenjis up. And they have one set of Falconet. One is the Kalian. The defenders have still got Zakalian. They've still got the Falconetti from Mass Flames and a the Shinji. Their flames did die though. It's gonna be interesting to see how sloth blockers do. My gut feeling's telling me though that they're not gonna do it. I think I think Surfs are gonna have A and B lockdown. Like going off from what we've seen on the the previous round and this this matchup so far, like this round so far. Surfs just seem to be better tonight. They just their rotations are better. They're more aggressive. They have more aggressive uh, hero scouts. So they can kill things quicker. Um, rotation wise is really good. They don't overreact to things like the push on B. So it's going to be difficult cloth blockers to do anything. They're going to do like a normal box standard push through A. The Falconetti have moved from mass flame. It's been kind of a split push, but. Rebs going, just basically denying unit movement on the point. Didn't do too much damage. Them shields in the back here are going to be rough. The Shenji's behind them as well. They are bombing now. Also, some Zakalian bombs just went... Like, that. a big blob like that, getting hit by bombs is not going to be good. The attacking Falconetis could do work, though. Although, a lot of the attackers have just moved onto the side here. The Zakalian bombs from back here are doing work. Surfso have just decided to split off and just ruin this smaller group up here and they've just absolutely trounced them. These guys can't really push in that strongly because they don't have the units to do so. Um, is that Kara coming from behind with cavalry? I didn't even see them spawn, man. Oh, I didn't even see them on the map running around. The guys that push this way are now rotating back around and these guys are getting pinched from every single direction. Cavalry charge. Ooh, that cavalry charge. Rip deader. Just died down here. Maybe that was a rip slot blockers. <laughs> they just got fucking ruined, man. Holy shit. That one winged Asar charge, though, from the attackers was fucking tasty. And then, like, as soon as that... As soon as that charge out, just, like, calmed down, everything was gone. And to be fair, I think I need to lower the, the, the volume of that with the violin a little bit. I noticed I was almost having to shout <laughs> to keep going. So unit-wise, um, massive difference. It's basically double now. So 350 to like nearly 700-ish. <clears throat> Not quite double, but we've got a couple of guys spawning at the back trying to go for B, but Derevni's already up there. There's, He's just run past it, but he's not going to be stupid. He's going to be sitting around there just in case. Obviously, Treb's going to come and do a little bit of damage, but I think it's GG, man. I think that is it. I'm going to go on the uh, voice attack. Turn down the volume of that just very quickly. That was very loud. Like, that literally nearly deafened. Pretty sure I can change the sound. Like, the volume of it. Obviously, I'm not looking what's going on now, but it's literally... Just full-on destruction from Surf Slayers. Fully sallied out on them. There's nothing Sloth Blockers can do. Uh, there's no time left anyway. There's a couple of guys that are pushed up on the B, but they've got completely stopped as well by Arkers up there. Kicking Min's going to try getting on an A, but he's, there's only 18 seconds left, so he's not actually going to be able to do anything. He's got Jackie Trincorn, Berserker right up his Jaxi. Hero death disparity is now 40 to 12, so massive difference. He even kept the resupply out here. Edda just died again. Rip Edda. That's better. That's a bit better from the sound. I should maybe make it a little bit quieter, but that's a lot better. Jackie Trin again with the MVP, two in a row. That was rough for the sloth blockers, though. They did not get any momentum on that attack. Um, 
extremely, extremely well played though from Surf Slayers. The rotations were good. Uh, the plan in general was good from the beginning. When they got pushed on B, they didn't overreact and basically just match numbers or just like add one extra hero. And then I think sloth blockers were kind of hoping that they would overreact to B so they could push on to A and it just didn't happen. And I think when we click on post that analysis now, pretty sure Surf Slayers won every single engagement that there was there. So, so reds dominated, absolutely dominated. Isn't that the wrong way around? Troops killed four hundred seventy-eight to nine hundred. Death count. Shouldn't that be the deaths of each team, not the kills? Of each? I've been saying it wrong all evening. <laughs> but never mind. Reds dominated. Uh, they won every engagement. Absolutely nuked the heroes. 